Listen to Diana Duran. My name is Diana Duran. I'm, actually, I'm the Secretary of State. In this 911 call from November 2011. I realized I hit something in the middle of the road. That thing was Eric Bronco. Santa Fe police said the 46-year-old had been walking in the middle of a very dark stretch of Highway 599 when Duran and at least four other drivers unknowingly hit him. My son is looking under the car and he says, it says like blood and pieces of meat under my car. No one faced charges for the unusual incident. Fast forward now to fall 2014. Duran finds herself in a controversial conversation about pot. Bernalillo County commissioners wanted to know if voters supported decriminalizing small amounts of marijuana. They asked Duran to put the question on the November ballot. She said no. My decision not to allow those non-binding questions on the ballot had nothing to do with the questions themselves. She claimed it was because the question was only meant to poll the public, not to change a law. But in the end, the state Supreme Court overturned her decision and ruled to allow the question on the ballot. Now, February 2015, Duran and Attorney General Hector Balderas announced a joint task force to review issues of campaign finance reporting and enforcement. This came after the Farmington Daily Times reported Duran's office had only collected 4% of roughly 2,000 fines imposed on candidates who violated state campaign finance law. Now it's six months later and the Attorney General is accusing Duran of embezzlement and money laundering. I reached out to Duran's attorney today and part of her statement read, we asked the public to not jump to conclusions and we look forward to addressing the allegations in court. If Duran is removed or steps down from office, Deputy Secretary of State Mary Quintana would take over. Royal, back to you.